Good day, chaps, and welcome back to my top five new YouTube channel series. Today, I want to take a look at Elite Dangerous, and um, I'll just very quickly remind you of the what I'm looking for in this series. It's very, very simple. Um, I'm looking for channels that are not exactly new, but have 10,000 subscribers or under, uh, and that's it. Uh, the only other criteria I have is that they are, are good and good in terms of quality and this is a completely subjective judgment so if you don't agree with me that's totally cool. The idea here is simply to try to bring bring up new YouTubers basically. Uh, there's a problem with YouTube I believe in that YouTube only serves up uh, suggestions based on quantity of views uh, uh, and that's the only way that an algorithm can uh, judge whether a video is popular. So, um, any any it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Uh, prophecy. Any uh, video that gets a lot of views is then suggested to other people, and it it snowballs. Um, but it's really really hard for new content creators to to get noticed. And um, since I've started this series, I've realised that there are some incredibly talented people out there, and people who are really passionate about uh, games. Um, I tried this series previously, it didn't really work out and the reason for that was that I was trying a kind of scattergun approach so I was just choosing channels at random um, and not really covering the content they had in much depth, there wasn't much structure to it whereas now, this time, since I brought this series back, I'm focusing on one game at a time and uh, today I'm, I'm looking at Elite Dangerous so uh, last week I did Star Citizen and um, I posted that and uh, the feedback was amazing, some of the best feedback I'd, I'd ever had on any video. Um, so the view count was, was decent, um, but it was really the feedback that convinced me that I have to continue with this series, and uh, it really does some, have some potential in it. Um, so maybe I won't get uh, downvoted on Reddit quite as much for posting a video. <laughs> Every time I post a video on uh, Reddit, it just gets completely downvoted and uh, hated on and all kinds of stuff. Um, so I keep on thinking to myself, how can I, instead of posting something that looks like self-promotion, how can I actually bring new content to people? Um, and yeah, just keep it as simple as that. So, you know. The only self-interest I have in doing this is that I hope people, more people find my channel and, and share my channel. That's it. Other than that, I just genuinely enjoy watching new YouTubers. I, talk, I watch tons of YouTube, uh, mostly because my job's really not that interesting <laughs> sometimes. Um, yeah, so I watch tons of gaming YouTube all the time. So I'm always looking for new talent and uh, yeah, I'm really I'm really happy with the, uh, the results and what I'm able to show you. So without further ado, I need to shut up. Let's get right into it. I, I do hope you share this uh, video. I really believe in this series. And if you just share it with one person, if you just tweet it, tweet it out with um, hashtag Elite Dangerous or whatever, that would just that would be amazing to share this thing. That's all I'm asking. Cool. Right, let's get into it. Number one. How about that for a, <laughs> an intro? That I'm just going to give you a little disclaimer here. I did not make that. I did not make that. I'm showing you that to promote someone who deserves a lot more subscribers. And his name is not only here. Uh, he's the f yeah. He's the first. He's the top of my list basically. Um, he's only got 458 subscribers, which I find amazing. Now, this is obviously Russian. What you're looking at here is Russian. But I don't think that really matters because, from what I can tell, it's all the uh, cinematic stuff. I'll show you another one, just very, very quickly. I've just watched a couple and I think they're fantastic. Um, I'm obviously not going to be able to show you all of this, so I'll just show you a few seconds. I 
I don't know about you, but I find that absolutely mesmerizing. I think that's truly incredible. Do go and check this guy out. Uh, I'll just show you the rest of his, the kind of stuff he has on his channel. Um, yeah, they're all commercials and kind of cinematics and, and stuff like that. So language isn't an issue. Definitely go and check him out. He's my number one. Okay, quickly, let's move on to uh, number two. Okay, next up we have someone called Blind Pew. And I've never seen anything like this guy. <laughs> um, you can tell that it's obviously very dedicated to Elite Dangerous, but the thing that really strikes me about this guy is that it's it's well let me just show you let me just show you I can't I'll just show you hello blind pew here I'm just exiting obsidian orbital star port in the Maya system Pleiades nebula as you know I'm here investigating a number of strange happenings including possible alien activity this is the second transmission of my investigation so if you missed the last one I advise you to click on the link appearing, now. In the last transmission we looked closely at, and picked up, an unknown artifact. We learnt that these artifacts appear to be built using some sort of biological te Now as you can tell, that's, that's a computer voice. That's Microsoft actually reading that thing, that's, um, that's not a human. I've never heard this before. I've never come across anyone who's done it, but uh, it works. And um, this is obviously very story-driven content, and the guy spends a hell of a lot of time on his editing. Putting footage together like this and then editing it takes a long, long time. Trust me, I know. Um, yeah, so I was I was very pleasantly surprised and impressed. Uh, he seems he doesn't have a ton of videos, but I get the feeling that each of his videos is is very well made so it's, it seems like quality over quantity which is completely cool with me I love that right number three next up we have someone called squid of love and aside from having a pretty awesome name we have someone who produces quite uniquely just an absolute ton of content I mean this guy pumps it out look at this this is eight hours ago ten hours ago one day one day one day two days ago a lot of content now he's not getting many views on on many of this but there are people watching and that's because we're doing very very long let's plays so he must record it almost like a, a stream and then just cut it up and post it so his internet must be busy but in terms of Elite Dangerous, he seems to specialize really in reviews. So we have here Federal Assault Ship Multi-Role Layout. And if you scroll down, you've got Pulse Disruptor Laser Review. And what I noticed is um, he also covers Star Citizen, how to change ship weapons loadout. Uh, so he's covering Elite Dangerous, lots of reviews, Star Citizen News, Squadron 42 Split. And here we go down here, Elite Dangerous, Viper Mark IV, loadout, hull, tank, so yeah, another one here, uh, review, Star Citizen, hotspots, exploring Crusader, so for anyone who's into the, the space genre and is interested in Let's Plays on top of that, of new games that he's playing, definitely check this guy out. He is absolutely dedicated to his channel so I imagine this will grow pretty quick next up we have Irish lad 147 and you'll never guess where he comes from he has a really nice mixture of uh, hardware reviews and this guy is so into his hardware it's ridiculous he's got pedals and I'll show you his setup in just a second because it's the most insane setup I've ever seen. But aside from the hardware, which is really, really cool, um, he also covers Elite Dangerous in a lot of details. Horizons, hype, news, uh, honest thoughts about Horizons. And I'm going to open that one for myself just to watch it after I've recorded this because I'm curious to see what he thinks. He also just does other, other general use like Arkham Knight pulled and then up here he's got something on 
squad, so he's always, he, he plays a bit of other stuff, but he's primarily dedicated to Elite Dangerous. But just check this out. Look at this. Look at this setup. I'll just uh, I'll let the guy tell you himself. God, he must have spent a lot of money on this. It's nuts. On the Cytex stick here, there's a throttle lever, which is brilliant. It's uh, out of all the joysticks on the market, this actually has a very reasonable throttle lever adjustment. And uh, instead of and the reason I'm using that instead of the the throttle on the X52 Pro, again, you're probably saying Irish lad, you're a you're a you're an idiot, retard, whatever. The camera doesn't run out of power. Um, and if it does, I'll just. Now, unfortunately, my camera did run out of power. Uh, I apologize for that. But anyway, I did get into a game. Uh, I had a few games, and uh, I'm very, very impressed. I have to say, this is a, a breath of fresh air away from the main game. Now, you can tell that he's he's obviously put some time into this. He's edited in the rest of this video, even though his camera ran out. So he, he's putting real time into it, and you can tell by the microphone setup he's got and everything like that that he's very much dedicated to this channel so I would definitely subscribe to him he is one to watch now number five lastly but not least this one's great so finally we have something which really adds to the game and it's very simple Galnet news so these guys uh, I think it's a collaboration between uh, two or more people and they are reading the latest from Galnet uh, it's obviously the news system in Elite Dangerous and bringing it to a kind of podcast format. Now you can tell the absolute regularity that these guys are doing it with and you can tell by the uh, number of subscribers they're picking up, they're doing very well. So it seems to be quite popular. The thing that, that really I loved is uh, the, the bloopers. And this uh, it actually had me laughing out loud at work as well. And... Yeah, I love the way they. I just love the fact that they published this. I think it's hilarious. It's a because the news they're all kind of, you know, they read it in a, a very straightforward tone. Let's put it that way, and it can it can be a little bit dry. They just kind of get through it. But this stuff, this is hilarious. And um, I'm going to leave this with you, and this will this will see at the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching, as always, and uh, I I really hope you share this video because yeah. I believe in this series. I hope you uh, you do too. I want to see. I want more people to see this. I think it's great that we can get more exposure to more channels. All right. I'll just. Uh, I'll leave you. I'll leave this with you. Ciao for now. Emperor Arissa Lavini Duval encountered supply chain difficulties this week, preventing the Shield of Justice from establishing a presence in Waimiri. The combat readiness of Shield of Justice patrols has been jeopardized in Damurai. Al. What the. F Alelbis. Alelbis. Sounds like I've got something wrong with my face. Alelbis. The combat readiness of Shield of Justice patrols has been jeopardized in Demori, Alelbis, and Kappa, and could lead to the withdrawal from these systems. If the shortages are resolved, Bragur, Mubutsi, Harun, Bresla, Kertha. Oh, come on, how many systems are there in this list? <laughs> Bragur, Bresla, Kathaje, Kathahe, Kathahe.